Hello everybody and welcome back to another hotel room video. Today we're in the Shin Okubo International Hotel in Tokyo, Japan. And I will go over all the features and the amenities of this room as per the usual. I believe all the rooms in this hotel have two twin beds or single size beds, which you can see here. I personally just used one of them, the one under the window here. And the windows are frosted glass to give you some privacy. Pardon my trash there, I've been staying here for about a week, so I accumulated some trash, but there's a trash bucket and liner there. There is a TV with not that many channels, I think maybe 10 channels or so. And there's storage underneath in the small entertainment center there. There's a closet over here, which came with three hangers and some in-room slippers, which I ended up actually not using. I had brought my own pair of disposable ones. You can see them down there. Uh, this is just a small cabinet with some glass inserts so you can see what's inside. And they give you a hot or electric kettle with two cups and some instant tea. And here's your refrigerator. It is kind of tiny, but it does have a small freezer section. And I basically used it to keep beverages in for the week. Here's the in-room phone and the thermostat. Uh, the air conditioning slash heating unit is right above. Right there, it is quite noisy, so I didn't use it every day or night because it was just so loud. Uh, but you can of course change the settings and the fan speed and things like that. If you don't know Japanese, you can use uh, Google Translate or something. Take a picture and it'll translate it for you. Uh, this is the small tiny uh, router. Uh, the internet is really not very good. Um, it would. The connection would go in and out, and the speed was quite horrible. So uh, if you do stay here, you may need to use a hotspot or some other means of connecting. It just wasn't very good at all. <laughs> Box of tissues is included, and this is the tiny desk you get. There is one drawer underneath, which is empty here. Uh, the handle on mine is broken, so I don't want to open it. The uh, clock on the wall actually is pretty feature-packed though. There's, of course, the time and then the temperature and I believe the humidity and date. Coming over to the sink area, there is a hair dryer, extra toilet paper, and there were more amenities here. I took some and used some, so uh, only the brush and razor are left with some cups. But they have, your, of course, your toothbrush and cotton buds and things like that towels. You get two bath towels, two face towels. Oh, there's the hand wash, sorry. And then this is the bathroom. Sorry, the fan is quite loud. The water pressure was great. The temperature was great. I didn't use the bathtub, even though there's quite a large bathtub you can see there. I'm not going to step in because the, the floor is wet. But Then you can see the body wash and shampoo over there. Uh, the toilet with the toilet paper holder. Unfortunately, there's no fancy toilet seat. And bath mat right below. Overall, this is a very budget option. Uh, it could use some TLC, some maintenance. Um, there are many places where it shows its age and possibly where it's gone years and years without any updating. Uh, there's a vent here, I'm not sure what it does. There isn't any control for it, and I don't think any air has ever come out of it. There is another switch here which turns on a vent for the main living area, which is right up there. Um, I think they do that because it can get quite humid. Even today there's quite a lot of condensation on the windows from the temperature difference from the inside to the outside since I am here during December. Um, if they made some updates to this uh, property, then 
think it would be perfectly fine as a budget option, uh, maybe as a hostel type of accommodation. Also adding, this is the annex. There's another building, which is the main building, just right across the street. So there are more rooms over there, but I think the overall look and feel is pretty much the same. Anyway, this was the Shin Okubo International Hotel in Tokyo, Japan, and this is room 305 in the Annex building. Thank you very much.